a massive buying opportunity may be about to open up on the number 12 cryptocurrency. Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about another layer one protocol in the cryptocurrency space called Avalanche, which I believe may be just about to open up a good buying opportunity for this bear market. Now, we've talked about extensively on the channel how during a bear market, we wanna kinda of pull back and stick with our guns, stick with big cap, really well-proven technologies such as Bitcoin, such as Ethereum. But there is place to put a percent or two of our portfolio in smaller caps. We wanna keep that investment portfolio pretty small on the riskier altcoins, but there is a place for it. And in this video, we're going to be discussing why there may be a good opportunity for investing in Avalanche sooner than you might think. We're going to be discussing the price action, how Terra Luna ties into all of this, and why a 69.23% drop over the last five months and 17 days indicates that the bottom might be in soon. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Avalanche is currently ranked number 12 on coin market cap, trading at the time of recording this video at $35.13. It's up 5.7% today, but it's down 69.23% year to date ever since the beginning of this year, five months and 17 days ago. Ever since 90 days ago, it is down 62.69%. Ever since just seven days ago, it's down 30. In fact, when Terra dumped, Avalanche slumped 5% in just minutes following all of the FUD that took place after LFG, the Luna Foundation, sold 80 thousand Bitcoin. Now the Luna Foundation still holds 1.97 million AVAX, Avalanche, and they could end up having to use that cryptocurrency to make up for some of the losses that they took when Terra Luna evaporated. And that is not a small amount of Avalanche. In fact, 1.7 million Avalanche makes up almost 1% of all Avalanche in circulating supply. So it is possible that Avalanche could drop even farther if the Luna Foundation decided to liquidate their Avalanche for the sake of paying off their other liabilities. But let's go ahead and take a look at the chart and the price action of Avalanche. As you may know, Avalanche hit an all-time high in November of last year at $145. And I think it actually deserved that at that time. Avalanche is a phenomenal layer one protocol, splitting up all of the different types of transactions on its layer one decentralized application DeFi protocol called the Avalanche blockchain into multiple different streams. Kelly Kellum, when he was explaining the way this all worked to me about six, seven months ago, he used this analogy. He's on our team, by the way, and he told me that Avalanche is like a city where if you want to get a person to move through the city, then they use the car in the interstate. If you want to get freight through the city, then you move it on a train. If you're trying to get bulk freight through a city, then you move it on a barge through the canal. If you're trying to get across the city very quickly, then you fly over the city on an airplane. There's different modes of transportation depending on what thing you are transporting, and that's kind of what Avalanche does. It actually uses different types of chains to split up different types of transactions so that the blockchain isn't bogged down by everything trying to go through the interstate or everything trying to go through the canal. Depending on how it needs to be transacted, whether it's an NFT or Avalanche being moved itself, then it will move in different ways. Very interesting concept, and it is one that I am personally invested in, just a little bit, not much, but I do have some Avalanche. Now, as far as the price action, it was following this downtrending level of resistance that was set here at $145, then here again at $130 around Christmas of last year, and then we also tested it here at $103 at the end of March of this year. However, at that time, we were actually in a symmetrical triangle pattern and we were hoping that Avalanche would bottom out here and rally with the rest of the market. Well, that didn't happen. In mid-April, as Bitcoin started a massive drop, so too did Avalanche and it took a <laughs> Avalanche. I'm sorry, I had to. I had to. Come on, you, you, you can't blame me. It's the dad jokes in me. And it dropped a total of 68% in just three weeks. I think you would definitely call that an avalanche. It has started to equalize though, right here around $33. And that makes a lot of sense because if we zoom out to the chart I was just on a second ago, we can take a look at something called the VPBR. This is the volume profile of the visible range. What does this mean? Well, the volume profile of the visible range, you can see it over here, it takes into account all of the data, all of the price action data and all the volume data within the visible range. So I can, I can click on the VPBR here and it'll show you the 
the visible range. Right now, I'm looking at the chart of AVAX from the 27th of December 2020 to the current day. If we take into account that data and we run it through the VPVR calculation, which I'm not going to discuss in this video, but we do talk about in Club DeFi, then you will find these bars over here. These essentially show us levels and zones of support and resistance. And the major level of support right now, it's called the point of control. It is the VPVR maximum. It is the most strongly supported level on the entire VPVR using that two years of data that we're looking at right now. It tells us that that strong level of support is sitting at $31.70. A lot of that comes into play because of the price action that we saw over here and the fact that we used it as a low right here in September of 2021. If we zoom in, turning off VPVR now because it will change based on the visible range changing, then we can see that level is exactly where Avalanche is holding. The question now is, can Avalanche hold $31 as support or will it break to the downside? Because if it does break to the downside, this level of support is no longer support that would, well, support us. It is resistance, which Avalanche would have to resist to get through. So this is a very important decision point for Avalanche. Is it going to support itself and bounce off of the support at $31 to $32? Or is it going to do what I think it's probably going to do and follow Bitcoin to the downside? Because just as Bitcoin is in a symmetrical triangle pattern right now that points to the downside, so too is Avalanche. Avalanche's symmetrical triangle pattern actually points to a floor of $14. Now, I'm not saying that Avalanche is going to go that low, but it does point to the downside. In fact, the next major level of support that you find on Avalanche, if you look at the VPVR and some other price data, is right down here around $22. You can see this is the bottom. This is called the VAL over on VPVR, and it shows the bottom of this zone. We could go all the way down to this valley because oftentimes when you're on a peak on VPVR, you like to roll down to the valley. Just think about gravity. If you're on a hill, you drop a ball down, it's going to roll down the hill to the bottom. That's what the price could do right here. It could drop all the way down to $22. And I'm not saying it's going to drop down to $14. If it did, there'd be a lot of support there. $12 to $14 is a support level. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I could very easily see Avalanche dropping all the way down to 22. That would be in confluence with the bottoms that we set in March, April, and May of 2021. And if that occurred, I think that would be a phenomenal bear market bottom to buy Avalanche. So what's my takeaway from this video? My takeaway from this video is that Avalanche has already undergone an Avalanche. It was sitting at $75 to $100 just a couple of months ago. It's currently sitting at 33. And there is strong case, there are strong cases to be made that it's not done. Because you see, if Bitcoin drops down to twenty to $22,000, the altcoins are going to drop a lot again. If Bitcoin drops 20%, most of the altcoins are probably going to drop 40%. And if Avalanche did drop that 40%, then we would be looking at a $20 Avalanche. If it goes down to $20, I think it's getting into a phenomenal, phenomenal buying territory. And that's the key takeaway from this video. Be on the lookout for some good deals because Avalanche has already proven that it can go to $145. And if we see it survive this bear market, that that is an if, that is not a win, that is an if. If it survives this bear market and it continues to do well into the next bull market, I think it could easily recapture levels of $145. That would be a 1,000% profit if you bought down around $14.5. It would be a six to 700% profit if you bought at 20. I do think you're gonna see those levels. Be very careful about aping into Avalanche too much though. I would encourage you to maybe only put one to maybe 3% of your portfolio in Avalanche. As I've said, and as we've all said on the channel, we like to to be much more conservative in bear markets. We don't want to put a ton of money into these small cap cryptocurrency projects. We want to make sure that we are being wise with our investments and sticking to more conservative bets like Bitcoin and Ethereum that are more proven because we're very confident that those are going to survive the bear market. But in the same way 2018 took out almost like 12 of the top 15 cryptocurrencies, this bear market very well may be doing the exact same thing and we don't know whether Avalanche is going to survive or not. But it's not a bad idea to speculate just a little bit. Just don't invest more than you're willing to lose. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video and you're looking for a buying opportunity on Avalanche, now you know where it is. Thank you so very much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And before I go, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching, as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely consider subscribing because we're trying to help you become financially free in these cryptocurrency markets. And also consider following us on Twitter at CryptoJeb for more updates on the price of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Peace.